I've been at Aura Brand Solutions now for eight years. Um, I took a year out to travel the world and uh, they had me back. Why did I decide to go traveling? Um, because I was 28 at the time and still uh, 28 single, thought I needed a bit of decent life experience. So I thought it was as good a time as any just to, to get off and go see the world. So. I ended up going to uh, Southeast Asia, had a few months there, um, Thailand, Laos, Cambodia, Vietnam, Malaysia and Singapore, and then a couple of months in New Zealand, Australia, and then, um, and then back. So yeah, before I left, I was um, national account manager, but prior to that, I'd worked in customer service and in the administration teams. Uh, when I came back, I, I went back into customer service briefly and um, then came back into the sales team to, to manage our customers, clients. So yeah, I work in a couple of different sectors really at the moment. So I look after a number of our fleet customers, um, look after all the work we do with Morrison supermarkets, which is quite substantial. And now they're looking to bring me into the rail team, which I've done previously and looking forward to getting back into that. Approachable fun, professional. It's a massively noticeable change. Um, obviously we've got different facilities now being the first one. So we've moved offices here in Stoke. We have the new application facility in Stoke as well, which is great. Our marketing presence is vastly improved. Um, the way we portray ourselves on social media is absolutely fantastic. In terms of the general feel of the business as well, um, it's quite a, it's a much younger atmosphere, I feel, which is really, really positive as well. I enjoy the, the varied aspect of the work. So my favorite thing is with a customer sitting down to discuss new requirements and then seeing that through right to the back end. It's, um, yeah, I really like getting into it, into the nitty gritty with it, um, right at the front end with a customer and then really driving hard to get it pushed through. Um, probably one of the things I'm stronger at personally as well, making sure that it gets seen through and seen through hopefully quite well. Um, but yeah, when any, any time a customer comes to me with something that's new or interesting, it just, it does bring a smile and, uh, makes you pleased to be in the job you are another day at the sharp end of brand solutions. It's usually the one offs that are um, really, really interesting, really specialist. There's loads of great stuff that we've done fleet-wise in the past. We've done some great work with, with Morrisons uh, recently across a number of their vehicles on their fleet. Um, really enjoyed the work that we've done, which is more toward, geared towards their estate. So trolley shelters and stuff internally in stores that we've done. It's again, quite interesting work. Of projects that we've worked on as a business recently, it was great to see the the Pride Train that we did for Avanti. I think that was probably the, the standout piece of work that we got through last year for me. It looked absolutely incredible. Uh, got really good nationwide coverage through the media as well. That was a great, great piece of work. I'll give you two. Tenacity is obviously really important. Um, second one, maintaining your sense of humor with it. Doesn't always go your way. Um, but obviously when you do have a sniff of an opportunity, you've really got to try and do everything you can to force it through, which I, again, I quite enjoy, but it's definitely something you require. You can't be laid back with it. You've got to grab it by the scruff of the neck and hammer it home as it were. Pre-pandemic times, I really enjoyed going to the gym, loved playing rugby, played rugby for a number of years. Um, I'm probably getting on a bit now, so I look to retire quite soon from that. So I'll need to find something to fill the void. But love, love writing. Look to um, write my own piece while I was traveling, which was great. And that's um, hopefully nearing completion, which I've been saying for two years. Yeah, I think if not necessarily a brand, but if someone came up to me within the rail industry and said, John, we want to do a life size replica of Thomas the Tank Engine. Can you wrap it for us? That would be fulfilling a childhood dream right there. Probably would be Breitling actually, now that you mentioned Rolex, because I definitely want one of their watches. And if they said, 
come and wrap a vehicle or a shop front or something for us, and I got a free watch out of it, then yeah, absolutely. Be more relaxed about it, but that only comes with experience, I guess. So yeah, things don't always go your way and you can't win them all. Just accept it and try as hard as you can.